Hey everybody, it's Nate from Explorers.life. I teach people how to build DIY campers, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to clean up messy wire ends by using ferrules. This is episode number four in a series I'm making covering all of the very basic skills you need to tackle the next electrical project in your camper. Now we've already covered how to cut and how to strip wire, which are two necessary skills that you'll need to, to be able to do to install the ferrules that we'll be talking about today. And links to those videos can be found in the description below. Now, wire ferrules are pretty new to me, and I've honestly been geeking out a little bit about them because of how helpful they are and how much cleaner they make wiring. Now, a wire ferrule is simply a very thin tube of metal that is crimped onto the end of a stranded piece of wire that keeps all the individual strands nice and together. This is incredibly handy whenever wiring things like a charge controller where the wire gets inserted into a power terminal and a screw gets tightened, pinching the wire in place. Now, how do wire ferrules make wiring safer? When wiring up a charge controller or something similar where the terminals are right next to each other with a stranded wire, there's a chance that if you aren't careful, a few stray wires could make their way into the neighboring terminal, causing a direct short and potentially heating up enough to melt the plastic enclosure or even start a fire. This concern is important enough that for certain electrical applications in Europe, ferrules must be installed on wire ends to pass inspection. These just haven't caught on in the US for some reason, but obviously I'm a fan of them. And they just look nice. Installing these ferrules is absurdly easy and takes just a few seconds. This is a six gauge wire, and this is a six gauge ferrule. This is a ferrule crimper capable of crimping wires from six to 12 gauge. To install this, we just take a wire with the insulation stripped back the length of the ferrule and insert it into the ferrule, making sure that all the wire strands are contained inside the tube. Place the ferrule into the crimper and squeeze it until it releases. From there, get a small piece of heat shrink and put it on the ferrule just to cover up the gap and just a little bit of the ferrule end and the wire insulation. This will just give the ferrule a bit more support and clean up the look even further. And that is it. Now you have a nice clean wire where there is no chance of a stray wire visiting a neighboring terminal. Now I've got a blog post about this process as well as the tools and the ferrules you'll need to get started. You may need a different size crimper and the ferrule depending on the size of wire that you're working with, but the process will be the exact same and you can find the various tools and ferrules in the blog post. Now, next week, we're going to continue on with our camper wiring basic series and I'm going to teach you how to install MC4 connectors onto the end of a wire so you can connect longer wires from your solar panel to your charge controller. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, I'd love it if you'd share it with somebody who could use it. Give this video a thumbs up, leave any questions you've got in the comment section below Subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper building videos, and I will see you in the next video.